Um, next, we will ask the, the chair of the full appropriations committee, Congresswoman Rosa DeLora, uh, for any opening statements that she would like to make. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and th thank you, Ranking Member Herrera Butler, and a welcome to our witnesses. Uh, I am so grateful to join with you uh, as we dig deeper into the security failures that occurred on January 6th. On that day, our nation held its collective breath, watching in disbelief as violent insurrectionists rioted in our capital. We listened in horror as insurrectionists were spurred on. As the mob stormed the Capitol building, aiming to disrupt Congress, and yes, they came for the Congress. Members of the U.S. Capitol Police and the House Sergeant at Arms valiantly leapt into the fray, but they were overwhelmed. These courageous women and men risked their lives to defend our democracy. It's a testament to their bravery and their dedication, that no members or staff were physically harmed. But it breaks all of our hearts that so many Capitol Police officers were injured in the attack, many quite severely. We pray for the officers and their families as they have dealt with the unfolding tragedy of that day, especially the family of Officer Brian Sicknick, and our hearts are heavy for the loss of Capitol Police Officer Howard Liebengood, who died by suicide in January. As we honor these sacrifices, we must take the hard look at just what exactly happened on that dark day and what we need to do to ensure such an alarming breach, such an alarming failure of our capital security. This should never happen again. The attack exposed weaknesses in our capital security systems that are far greater than any of us would have ever anticipated. And it has made it abundantly clear that the Capitol Police and the Sergeant of Arms require major institutional and cultural reforms. What went wrong on January 6th? As the committee that funds the security of the Capitol, Today, we hope we can gain a better understanding of the problems that the Capitol Police and the Sergeant at Arms must address, what resources they need to reform themselves, to keep members, congressional staff, employees, and their own officers safe. What are the solutions? What should the role of the Capitol Police Board be? I say a thank you to our witnesses for joining us today. Acting Chief of Police, Yogananda Pittman, briefed members of the Appropriations Committee last month, and I hope we can continue to drill down on the issues that we discussed then. And Acting House Sergeant at Arms, Tim Blodgett, brings an important perspective from, this, from his office. On January 6, 2021, our nation gazed into the abyss. Our democracy, indeed, is fragile. But the security of our seat of government should never be. And that is why it is so immensely important that we have an open and honest discussion to ensure the events like those do not take place, that took place on January 6th, can ever happen again. And I yield back and thank the gentleman. Thank you, uh, Chairwoman uh, DeLauro. Uh, 